I got two more. All right, that does it for today. We've got some red ones, some green ones, some white ones. Yield monster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven barrels. I'll turn them things into $25 a piece, what I'm gonna do. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful Saturday. Thank you, Lord. Beautiful Saturday. Wrapping with Grandpa, what's next? It is Saturday. Had a guy call me up, send me a picture of some steel that he has, so I can never turn down some steel. My trailer's empty. It's time to go fill that thing up. Let's go get some goodness, guys. Let's go see my friend Bill, too, while we're out. Somebody said, you still collecting the scrap metal? I said, I sure am. So I got some stuff. If you're interested, i am got a whole pile of it. Come and get it. It is Saturday, April something, first week. What is it? What is this? Saturday, April the 6th. Wow, it's already April. Can you believe that? All right, guys, let's go see what we got. I haven't really looked at it yet. Ah, got a pile right here. Got some aluminum goodness. Some kind of table. Ooh, that thing looked heavy. What's going on, my friend? How are you doing today? Huh? How are you doing today? A little sore, but okay. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know about that sore stuff. <laughs> I got the same thing going on. Drew, Randy. Drew, Randy. Nice to meet you, my brother. Yeah, that, I bet that Can table was awesome for a long time, wasn't it? Yeah. That thing was probably awesome for a long time. I had a friend that uh, did play, install playgrounds. I actually used to live across the street yeah. over here. Yeah. He gave me, he put this over here. He yep. built a swing set for the kids. Yep, yep, yep. It's time for it to go. Yep, yep. I could definitely use anything that's made of metal, my friend. That? Metal. See, how, much, how much, how much metal's on that? And I guess it's probably enough metal to... Yeah, I, was, I wasn't even gonna put it over here, and then I saw. Okay, yeah, it looks like it's aluminum. made. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, that's probably metal. You take aluminum. Them. Oh, absolutely. I love them. I acquired those from a. It's falling apart. I just wondering so, how heavy it was. I get it in the trailer. One person's not gonna lift it. No. Maybe no. not even two. Yeah. Not unless you got a lift. I don't have a lift. I might have to bring. I might have to bring a couple of my friends that live it right. Will, it will probably fall apart. Yeah, I see that. The last time I moved it over here, when I had the guy mm -hmm. a couple weeks yeah, ago, yeah, it started to fall apart on me. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get everything except for that, and um, I'm gonna. I have a friend that lives around the corner, but he's going out to eat with his lunch. I was gonna bring him with me. Him and me might have been able to do it, but I don't. I'm not gonna try to do it by myself and hurt myself. Yeah. So but I'm gonna get the biggest that, part of it. This is this too. I'm gonna get the. Do you want the? You want to take the chimney? Uh, no, un unfortunately, it's, it's not made of wood and it is broken, so I don't yeah. think anybody's gonna. See, I can I resell stuff too, you know, but I'm not gonna be able to resell that. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the stand that goes with it, so I guess the stand will be over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You can put the stand I, beside I, I whatever. Think what I, I won't. Do. Yeah, I won't take it. I'll just leave oh, the whole thing. I want you to take it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Take the stand if you want me to, but anyway, I'm gonna throw. Uh, I'm gonna throw this stuff on there for now. And then see what uh see if I can get some friends of mine to come back and help me with that. I might I might have to bring a sawzall back with me. It's pretty heavy. Now, it's already breaking here. Yeah, I see that. Here. Might probably have to bring it. off a few times and probably break off. Well, let me get some stuff from around it and see what happens. Let me get some gloves on. Thing there buried over there uh. in the wish house. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is what I do, and I just take my time, and I don't get in no hurry, and okay. just don't. So I'm good, buddy. I appreciate you calling me up. I can't remember how did you say you found us anyway. Uh, I just saw you on Facebook. I think. Nice, nice. I need to start posting more on there. But this is what I do. I, I retired, uh, semi-retired. I still do a little bit of work, <coughs> but um, I've had so much 
operations in the last five years. I've had like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven operations. So in five years, and I'm just like, I think I'm done with that crap. But you're in worse condition than I am. But I'm not old enough to where I want to collect Social Security yet or anything like that. So I still got to go out and make you know a little yeah. bit of money here and there. But I'm not going to go punch the clock for somebody and work 40 hours a week. Can't do it. Yeah, I got a, uh, I got two YouTube channels. That's part of where I make my money too. Oh, okay. Um, I have a scrapping channel, and then before I started scrapping, I had a roofing channel. Drew's roofing and home repair. Oh, okay. And I did that for quite some time, and I made a YouTube channel about it. And um, when uh, we had Hurricane Florence. I had been making videos for a while, but Hurricane Florence, I went to a guy's house in St. James, and he, when I knocked on his door, and he had all kinds of cameras and video stuff and lights and, it and just everything, Nerf guns all over the walls. I was like, what are you doing? You know, what in the world are you doing in here? And he said, I'm a YouTuber. I was like, what do you mean you're a YouTuber? He said, well, I, I make videos and put them on YouTube. I said, well, I make videos and put them on YouTube. Am I a YouTuber? He said, I don't know. I, maybe. Maybe. I said, well, I do it. <clears throat> I said, I don't do Nerf guns and stuff like that. I do roofing, but I mean, I put videos on there. So anyway, he told me a little bit about it. I went home that night, did some investigating, and realized I was a YouTuber too. I just didn't know it because I made videos and posted them on YouTube and uh, then I found out oh you can actually make money for posting videos on YouTube so I went on to my Google account over to my YouTube thing and I said how do you make money on YouTube it told me to go to my Google AdSense thing and sign up this and that and the other so I went over to my Google AdSense and found out they already owed me $1,800 from my videos that I've already had on there. And um, all I had to do was to make more money was to monetize the rest of my videos that I already had on there. I didn't monetize them. I didn't know anything about it. In order to make money, you got to monetize your video, right? So monetize, monetize means YouTube can put ads on your videos now. And one month I made 1800 bucks in one month for my YouTube channel. So far I've made on my two channels, I think 90,000. I can't wait to make my first 100,000 so I can make my, my video. My daughter's starting to get into that too, I think. Yeah. She was in photography. Oh goodness, yes. And in cosmetology and doing short oh, makeup Oh, cosmetology like is amazing on YouTube. She was making YouTube videos. For she should be making a mint anything I don't care what it is you're doing business wise or whatever if you can make a YouTube video of it and put it on YouTube man, you can merely make back I mean come on man my other channels made so between them two channels that's that's 80 something almost 90 grand tell me that ain't just yeah. I mean for some people $90,000 is yeah. life-changing yeah you know what I mean yeah. full of water yes sir that's part of the weight well, no wonder it rusted. No wonder it rusted. Right? I think that's going to be easy work right there. That's going to be easy work. Yeah, all I had to do is get it torn apart. Made it easy. I don't think you should grab that at all. Hold on, hold on. I don't, I don't think you should grab it. I really think I can do it. Watch. See there? Now. No, I mean, I've been loading this thing by myself for a long time. I can put refrigerators on there by myself. I do it all the time. All right. I feel my back right now. Some other stuff no, you relax, brother. This is what I do, and I don't do more than I can do. So I do. <laughs> I do it on my own time now. So, like I said, I loaded this trailer this morning. 1,500 pounds. Of course, not all at one piece, but. You know, a piece at a time. Mm -hmm. And uh, $174 or something like that. But my other channel is uh, Drew's Roofing and Home Repair. Yeah. 
Yeah, Drew's ripping her home repair, but between the two of them, between my two channels, um, a year I make a lot of money. Almost 20,000 a year. That's freaking amazing. That helps out a lot. Yeah, kidding me? I mean, I know a lot of people that don't make 20 grand, they're working all week. You know what I mean? Seriously. I make $20,000 a year. And all I have to do is what I already love doing. Right. Make a video of what I do. People will watch, people will... Yeah, it's bent up. See, I won't be able to sell anything that's got dents in it, bent. So I'll probably end up cutting it up. Go ahead and this one too, I guess. All right. Yeah, I'll end up, I can, I'll end up cut, cutting this up just for the simple reason. It's got a few dents in it. And I can't sell somebody that something with dents. Not a ladder. Anyway. But that'll make some nice scrap metal. And uh, maybe it'll even make another ladder one day. Yeah, it's been up down there too. One of them might be able to sell it, but this one, not this one. Well, that was great, man. I actually enjoyed that. I wonder if I was recording the whole time. All right, everybody, I loaded my trailer. All kinds of stuff on here to bring in. Ferris and non-Ferris. I did not record one minute of loading this trailer. Not one minute of it. I'm heading to a, my first place is to drop off these two burn barrels. I got two burn barrels. I'll make a quick $30. All right. Make a quick 30 bucks on my burn barrels and then um, he might even buy my brass or that uh, number two copper. I don't know, I've got a little bit of number two. I know he's going to buy my lead, probably going to buy my number two, he's going to buy my dirty brass, probably selling my clean brass, I'll bring southern metal everything else, it's just a friend of mine that his brother has a yard and he does I guess scrap metal. And um, this guy will hoard it up and his brother gives him like top dollar for it so why not right I don't know anything about it all I know is he buys some of my some of not very much of my little bit of scrap that I get all right let me move this thing out of here hook up the black truck hit the scrap yard scrap my grandpa what's next so today is solar solar eclipse day Look at that yard, huh? Looking good. I need to fix my fence panels now. Looking good. Uh, solar eclipse day. So if you're wondering what day this is, that is the day. And um, what a better place to be than at the scrap yard during a solar eclipse. Scrabble grandpa, what's next? What's next? What's next? Solar eclipse at the scrap yard. Solar metal recycling. Yeah, lead. Heavy lead. Selling it to a friend of mine. Some of them is already ingots. Selling it to a friend. Not even the scrap yard. This is just a friend. I think he's probably going to make something else out of them. Two burn barrels. A little bit of lead. What's next? What's going on, guys? All right, what we got? We're about to have a solar eclipse. You're not going to be able to see anything. It's going to be dark. End of the world. Good. Not much. All right, a couple, just a couple things. I got everything in buckets. We got buckets, man. Buckets. We got some. Uh, we got some casts. I think that's. I think that's all we got to cast, dude. 
just all you can. Yeah. Yeah, I just got everything in five gallon buckets and a few of these. I do have a little bit of motors. All right. Motors. I got some electric motors. Yeah, I have electric motors in here. A few. Got a bunch of buckets though. Figured today was a good day to clean my shop. I think that's the number two there. And then this has uh, plastic on it, has the plugs yeah. on it. Yeah, these right here would have to do with the steel. These are just going to be steel? Yes, sir. Not even, even if the outside doesn't matter. Then we're no, just steel. As long as it's got that mess to it, yeah. Okay, so that it's not dirty just... brass or not like no. that. Okay, that's good. Good, that's all I need to know. Okay, this, except for this, I believe this would be my uh, dirty brass. Yeah, low grade. This one is uh, brass, but it's heavy dirty because I couldn't get that off. I guess that's heavy dirty. Would you call that heavy dirty? You can put it with that. That's dirty brass. Break time, break time. Break time. Lunar yep. eclipse. The full lunar eclipse will be next year, like next March. Oh, okay. What people okay. are going to do when they do have the full lunar eclipse? Oh no. Uh, Google said this is only like a partial. Oh, I got you. Partial. Yeah, it will be covering the sun, but not all of the full. Gotcha. This is some uh, irony cast. I don't all know right. if I had some of that already. No. Irony cast. How you been doing, Ryan? Good. Good. This bucket is my clean brass, and I weighed that bucket before I left at three pounds. You can weigh it again, but it's three pounds. So the whole bucket? No. No, that's a copper bucket. That's an antique copper bucket. I'm gonna keep that. 11 pounds clean brass they call this low grade wire now they used to call it 60% now they call it low grade when it's like this that last low grade wire three pounds last low grade wire was had all the crap on it this is all clean clean low grade this is uh, clean stainless my Clean stainless. Clean stainless. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the bucket weighs. Though.
Nine pounds. I'll write that on it next time. This is some irony aluminum. Is that did they call that screw or does that matter like that? No, Just irony aluminum. Iron aluminum. Iron aluminum. So it looks like to me. It's got junk in it. This clean old sheet. Yep, clean, clean aluminum. I got that and all this ladder stuff over here. So if you want to put it in the bin or something, I don't know. Get all them ladders. I don't, I don't know. I got all them ladder pieces. So, looks like when I say plug ends, we're looking at plug ends and I, I guess maybe these can go go with them. Like where you cut the box off and the power comes from the power. Get your stove cords and your dryer cords. Um, plug in strips, I take these apart, take the brass out of them. Um, yeah, so I guess you can put these with your plugs, even your end plugs. That's something I never did know about was my end plugs, this part. Could I put that with my same power of my plugs? And I guess you can. Wire harnesses. See how a lot of people cut their ends off? I, I cut mine a little bit closer, but some people just cut them like crazy. Leave a lot of meat on the bone right there. All right, I think he's getting me a I think he was going to come to the play. He's coming in here. Beautiful. Sure. Yeah, I was going to say that was not set. Then we got some electric motors in that can. Electric motors. Uh, I think they're clean. Clean.
I gotta add that to my uh, I gotta add that to my clean breast. Sorry. Look at him, Ryan. Look at him, okay? I'm gonna throw this on there. Hold on. I'm gonna have to take it back. It's got a, it's got something around the edge. Uh, Everything cool. else is brass except for that. It's all right. It's all right Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Hope all you have right. a good day, my brother. Hope you la uh, live, uh, live through the solar eclipse there. Good luck. Got the solar eclipse going on right now, but it's so Come. damn bright in the sky you can't look and see shit. Uh-uh. You need some glasses. I ain't even got my shit from last one. No. Hell no. You can see now that the uh, solar eclipse is, is coming on, it's starting to get dim out. Let's see if I can get myself turned around. Hey, what a better place to be than at the scrapyard for a solar eclipse. I'm telling you. I don't know where the sun is, but uh, yeah. It's coming, I can see it in the sky. All right, this is the most important part. We just did the non-Ferris. Now we're gonna now we're doing the steel, 11,340 pounds. I usually come home, come across here at 10.4, 10, I think. So there's not much scrap metal in the back of this truck right now. Good thing is, I put the back of my trailer down, pinched my electrical wire. Um, thank goodness it didn't cause me any problem. I was able to pull it out, but I refixed the wire so I can either dump or pull it off whatever they want whatever they want so just dropped off my non ferris and I got a pretty good size ticket we get a little bit of a treat there's a truck in front of me that's packed in pretty damn good and we're gonna go ahead and get oh uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna waste no time unloading that thing he just grabbed a grapple full of it he's like I'm gonna get all all or nothing sir look at there
How you doing, my brother? Does he uh, does he want me to dump it or is he gonna pull it off? I gotta get my barrels out first, though. You can dump it, dump it. I can dump it. Right. Let me get my barrels out. Set them aside. I'm gonna set them right over there. I went through the non first. Yeah, buddy. And then I forgot to drop some stuff off. I forgot a couple pieces. Yeah, I'll throw them out, I'll throw them out for later. All right. All right, gonna dump. Once I get up here, I'll situate my buckets so they don't blow out of the truck while I'm going down the road. What we got going on over here? He's got some bales or whatever. Bunch of, bunch of stuff going on. What's going on, buddy? The man with his hand right there. All right, let's jump across the scale. See how Grandpa did. Oh, you can see how it's getting dim out. I guess that's that solar eclipse that's going on. I don't even know what time it is, two something. All right, where are we at? All right, we are at, guys, 10,500 pounds. 10,500. Got a nice big list. I'll fix my buckets before we drive down the road. Nice big list. Of oh, goodness, Let's see how we did. How's it going, Aaron? Day, like, didn't let you know I was coming across in it like a ghost. Like a ghost. <laughs> All right, so on that trip, I didn't even actually go out scrapping. All I did was bring in some stuff that I had at the house already. cleaning up all right so grandpa did some cleaning up around my lot today off camera it's just a whole lot quicker to be honest with you than trying to make a video edit what I'm doing running all around um, yeah 200 255.79 cents what a haul I had uh, unprepared number two steel, 68 bucks. Irony brass, $24. Electric motors, $30.90. Irony cast aluminum, $4.84. Aluminum cast, I'm guessing that's clean. $9.45, irony aluminum, again, $6.40. I cleaned up around my shop, guys. I, I sh probably should have recorded some of this. Aluminum old sheet, $33. Uh, stainless steel, um, $6.40. Copper insulated number two, nine dollars and ninety cents um, low grade wire with clips and everything else on it all the garbage three dollars and thirty cents copper number two eighteen dollars 
So there you go. That was my day. That was that clean copperator. Copper insulated number two. Uh, there was about nine pounds of that. So a little under $10. That's not too bad for that particular wire. That's basically extension cord price, to be honest with you. I mean, I can get the same price for an extension cord with the double insulated. That was single insulated, but all that stuff is really fairly low grade. It comes out of the air conditioners and the small wires. And there's a lot of plastic on them things, even if it is single coated, um, therefore resulting in about probably 40% um, I'm guessing more like 40% um, recovery. So that's why, that's why they're paying you the 40%, which is the same thing as extension cords. So anyways, guys, scramble with Grandpa. What's next? Make sure you subscribe that. I right, smash that subscribe button so you're notified the next time I put out a video. You never know what it's going to be. Could be epic. Might not. Let's hope for the either. We'll see you guys then. What's next? You know how grandpa's brain, you know how grandpa's brain works. I walk into the scrapyard with my ticket to get paid and I'm saying on camera, when I get back out, I put them barrels down where they belong and uh, of course, I, I walk out looking at my ticket. Guess that's all I cared about. Sure enough, I drive out of the parking lot probably losing barrels. But 255 either way. Yep, I made 255. Just from stuff laying around my shop, and I didn't bring in everything. Uh, I wanted to bring in more, I just didn't have really the room. I have uh, two machines to pick up tomorrow, and that's about it, and some more cleaning up in my shop. I lost a few barrels, so I guess we uh, opened up some more room for a few more new ones. I guess the next thing I forgot was, on my way here, I stopped at a friend of mine's and dropped off some lead and two burn barrels. So I gotta stop by and get paid for them.